to use the tournament scheduler to sort all 54 of our matches. Um, but we did set some pretty strict conditions coming through, not least of all court availability, uh, but also how long the matches are going to last uh, and what sort of breaks the players are going to get between matches. So the next thing we need to do is to make sure that the conditions were able to be upheld. And to do that, we're going to head to the tournament admin and we're going to head down to scheduling conflicts and see what the system shows us. So match scheduling is good, so everything's sort of working in the right order. Uh, we had enough time, we've got no court scheduling issues. But we do have some players playing too close together. So at the moment we've got this filter set down to 1 hour and 30 minutes, so it's showing all the breaks where they really don't have one. Um, if we want to change this, which will just throw up more conflicts, but we might be able to help more people out, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. We'll just look at these few uh, important ones right now. And, you know, you could see a few different uh, conflict errors sort of thrown up here. Someone might be playing at two different venues in the same day. Obviously, the most common one is having two matches too close together. And you can see we've got some of them to resolve. So what's the easiest way to resolve them? Let's take a look at one here. Cassandra, she's playing at A1. Uh, at 9 a.m. and then she's also going to play a4 in the open draw at 10 so she doesn't have very long at all. So we're going to go back to our tournament admin menu we're going to head down to match calendar and here we go. So depending on how many was, um, sort of matches you've got scheduled across how many days and venues uh, you may want to ch change your sort of zoom level to make things a little easier on the eyes which we can do um, but yeah that, that should work for us and that's that first one that we looked at, A1 in the juniors, we can see Galloway versus Green. And then here we've got A4, Galloway versus McEachan. So we need to do something about that. And obviously the easy solution, because we've got some gaps here, we can just use the drag and drop and find a spot down here, let's say there. So now we know if we go back and we refresh, that scheduling issue is now gone. So we really just need to work our way through. You will begin to identify trends where you can move uh, an entire round to resolve them. Um, or you can go through one by one and just take care of them all manually exactly how, um, exactly how you'd like to. So we can do a few more. Let's pop back. We can see another issue. Uh, this A1 here needs to come down maybe. And let's come back and refresh the scheduling. Okay, now we're only down to a few. Um, and we can see basically common theme here, like I said earlier, is that these, these junior matches in the morning are too close to the following round. And that's because we've set ourselves up for a pretty complex draw in that everybody's playing in both events. Obviously you wouldn't normally have that. So let's just go ahead and move the rest of these down and see if that does anything for us. Okay, so we've still got two, A6 is too close to A8 and A5 is too close to A6 in the open. So let's have a look here. Okay, so we've still got some issue here with these uh, second junior matches. Um, so maybe let's just try moving all these down. And then we can take a look. Okay, there we go. So we're good for now. Again, you're probably going to want to come back multiple times during the event to check these scheduling issues. Um, of course, depending on how the players get on and where they end up in the draw, more are going to um, arise. Um, but the drag and drop is definitely the most simple way. Um, we do have space allocated for no court assigned, so if you have a number of issues you need to take care of but you're not sure how to do it yet, uh, you can always just drag them off so that there's no court assigned and it's not confusing for the players. Uh, the other thing you might want to do is just to check to make sure you've got your finals where you want them and who's playing last. You can obviously move them around as you see fit. And once you're happy, you're pretty much good on the match calendar. And then it's time to head down to the control sheet and begin your event.